I'm going to tell you everything about the Gen X. Let's see what it is. We have Solid HG Plus, Solid FX, and ZI. Uh, all that uh, development basically went into the Gen X. And we have stunning shade and translucency with this stuff. I can almost not tell them apart from the Solid FX if you know how that stuff looks like. I love the FX. FX is great material, but it has its limitations, as you know. Uh, maximum three unit bridges, including posture, that's great, but uh, can't do everything with it. So for that reason, now the universal material, multi-layer, uh, one shape per disc. So the Gen X puts an end to the time-consuming search for the right blink. Uh, the struggle, I don't know who of you is using the salt effects material struggle sometimes was finding the correct puck for the correct shade and uh, for the correct strength in order to uh, make the restoration in an appropriate way while still being aesthetic. And the FX multi-layer, as much as I love it, the struggle with that sometimes was or is that you're eventually looking for the perfect shades with the least amount of staining afterwards and then having two shades on one puck sometimes isn't the easiest now here we have one shade per puck and uh, we have a true all-rounder with the high aesthetics like i said i almost cannot tell them apart looking at the gen x and the salt fx multi-layer and they it's really minimal. I have to hold them up to light or to a light source or something uh, in order to really see the difference and tell. On pictures, it's getting really tough. If you're holding it in your hand eventually, but you can make some minimal cutbacks, minimal layering techniques. There's some great stuff out there with Mio, what I've been seeing. So that really works great. And you don't have to worry about what kind of indication it is because we're talking about a thousand um, megapascals here. So it has all the advantages of the solid HT+. Uh, it has the strength, it has the excellent aesthetics, but now it's multi-layered, uh, it has the mechanical values um, and the properties, the, the uh, flexural strength in order to allow everything up to full arch case. So it has that natural shade gradient with the multi-layer, what you already love from the um, FX, but it is one shape per puck to make it a little bit easier for you. You see here in red, this is our new solid Gen X, yeah, and, and as addition to the uh, already existing portfolio and the true all-rounder. So if any Zirconia, if you're just starting out with the Amon Gerbach product line, then this would be the Zirconia to get going because you can probably do all your cases uh, with it. And then maybe you're deciding in some cases you need a low translucent or you need um, super high translucent. Translucency in our case is done with the amount of yttria. So you see here the strength values, 1200 megapascal for the low translucent ZI, 1000 megapascal for the HT plus and the Gen X. And this old FX has 700 megapascals. Uh, we can do four or class four multi-unit bridges with this material, the Gen X. And um, with the amount of yttria being so close to the solid effects, we, we get still really good aesthetics with it. The Itria and the Sirconia, as you already know, has an effect on uh, the, the phases uh, during the sinterization. So uh, through the sinterization, it goes through the monoclean phase and then ends up in a tetragonal phase and eventually in a cubicle or in a mixed phase. And <clears throat> the mixed phase is uh, dissolved HT+, where we have a cubic phase of approximately 30%. So that's as you see, it's fairly close to the FX. And uh, really what that's all it means is this, right? Shade predictability, getting the good aesthetics from it. And uh, shades, I, I, to me, <laughs> uh, I've seen so many good looking zirconias out in the laboratories, but if the shade's off, like, <laughs> I don't know. Then for us, it's not really an issue. You just, we can go at it. The shade's there, the aesthetic's there. Uh, this is going to be a really nice all-rounder. Like I already said, I keep repeating myself. 
but uh, it's going to make life a lot easier. Pictures usually speak more than 1,000 words, so here you have a couple of them. You have five reasons why Gen X. Fun right from the start, like I said, if you're just starting with this, try this material out. Um, there's not much to it in order to make a case really nice looking and aesthetic. It's same, same, but different because it is Saconia, what we already have a lot of experience with, but it is the latest generation of it. Truly no limits anymore, natural appearance, shade gradient, and strong. First priority for any deliveries is going to be the shades Bleach 3, A2, A3, A3.5, B1, B2, C1, C2, D2. The heights, as you already know, everything which is pre-shaded, multi-layered, etc., for us is in 14, 16, and 20 millimeter shades, uh, heights, sorry, and comes, as you can see in the picture, 71 D shape and 98 millimeter. We're starting in March 2020. So get ready for it. <laughs> 